Hey Pisces and Pisces lovers and friends. Welcome back. Let's see what kind of message someone would like to send your way and all that fun stuff. Um, don't worry, be happy, Pisces. What are you worried about? What is on your mind? Let's find out. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Now, Pisces, you could be recovering from hmm, feeling perhaps hurt and betrayed by someone. I'm also getting too that <clears throat> this um is slowly but surely kind of easing up in your mind. Okay, so you are I, I feel like things are getting better. Okay. Um your load is being lightened a bit, which is why the Ten of Swords is in reverse. So that's good. We have the star in reverse. Aquarius energy. I feel like you might be... Hmm, even though you're healing up, I still feel like there's a bit of fear or uncertainty in regards to your future and what might happen next. Wow, we have the Knight of Cups and the world. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy, and Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. So, hmm. Even though you might have some uncertainties about what's to come, at the same time, you know that a cycle has ended or it needs to end, okay? Because, you know, I think that whatever was going on with you, it could have been making you a little bitter, but ultimately, whatever it was, it was just making you, like, not be yourself, okay? So, I get that whatever um, this Ten of Swords is about, it was really um, taking you off of your course. And also making you doubt your dreams for your life. Okay, it's like, are my dreams going to come to fruition? Okay, but you're starting a new cycle. The Queen of Cups in reverse. Wow, and the Lovers in reverse. Yeah, there's definitely a love situation that <clears throat> was no longer serving you it wasn't working out and it may have really hurt you to put an end to it but you know it it had to be done 
But the best part about this now is that you are healing up from it. And this is going to be something that you can put behind you. Okay? It's not something that is going to plague you forever. The Emperor, Aries. Okay? You could have been dealing with an Aries that put you in that Ten of Swords energy to begin with. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, it's a little early, so. <clears throat> but um, I also get, too, from this that you are reclaiming your power, okay, by taking the initiative to heal. And to put this behind you, okay? So you're starting a new cycle, but you're starting this new cycle off fully empowered. I really feel like this is, this could be a message from, you know, someone that you're close to. That loves you and wants the best for you. But I also feel like, and, and this is kind of one and the same. But I also feel like this could be a message from spirit as well. Okay. Ooh, let's see what these two are that fell out. The Hermit in Reverse and the Eight of Swords, Virgo. Hmm. I think this situation, okay, this connection, relationship, marriage, really made you feel stuck. Okay, but I also think that what you didn't realize early enough is that things can get better beyond this, and they are now. You know, I do see that as you move into this new cycle, you're going to be bolder, okay? You are going to be unafraid to be in the world, to be, um, I heard exposed, but I feel like more like center stage is really what it is. You are going to really live your life. Okay. Like nothing or no one is going to stop you. Okay. And I feel like Healing from whatever happened before. Um, <clears throat> it really is going to give you strength and confidence to socialize, to um, really put yourself out there in a way that you haven't before. When it comes to work, when it comes to your talents, when it comes to love, it's like... <laughs> I feel like the pain, you know, you're not going to use that as an excuse moving forward, okay, um, to hold you back. I mean, with this kind of strength and power, why would anything hold you back? There's no reason, okay, okay? I, you know, seeing this too makes me feel like the world is yours. The world here, okay, it belongs to this emperor. So everything is yours, Pisces. It's like, you know, this was a blessing in disguise. <laughs> Truthfully, a blessing in disguise. We got the Ace of Swords here. You know, I feel like in the Knight of Wands, Spirit is really on your side. This 
ending is about to give you a breakthrough, okay? Where you are about to have some renewed zeal and energy and enthusiasm. Um, we have the chariot. Yeah, you're going like all the way. All the way in your life after this. So I really do feel like doors are opening up for you. Let's see. Excuse me. Wow. Goddess of oneness. Okay, sorry about that. There's definitely a renewed sense of feeling connected to the universe here, okay? That's coming for you. Let's see. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Soulmates, okay? And then we also have abundance from within. So, Pisces. There's a lot of good things in store for you. It might not feel like it if you're still in the healing process. Um, but it's coming and it's really going to happen fast. Okay. I'm surprised the Wheel of Fortune didn't come out. Um, There's a lot inside of you that is so rich and so valuable, okay? You are the star. I'm also getting Pisces. The more connected you are to spirit, the more you are aware of how you create from within, this kind of matches this Knight of Cups here. A little bit. Not a whole lot. But, you know, a little something, something. Um, but the more you realize your ability to create within, your soulmate is going to show up in your life. Okay? Wow. Since that card came up, I'm just going to grab a little Whispers of Love card. Wow, and I parted the deck and the spiritual connection. Mm hmm. Hmm, again, new love. Okay. Let's see. So, love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. Okay? And embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. So, in case this situation caused you to have doubts about yourself, Spirit wants you to keep in mind how divine and deserving you are. How deserving you are of love. And as you continue to heal, embrace your emotions. Accept your feelings. 
Okay? Because spirit is with you while you work through all of this, Pisces. Spirit is with you every step of the way. to see what this is here oh meditation i meditate daily to allow universal wisdom to flow through me okay pisces that is an affirmation for you um and the more you meditate the more connected you will be to spirit I'm just really expecting a lot of good things to unfold for you. So, Pisces, this has been your reading. Um, whether they want to text you or whatever I'm going to call it, I don't remember. But um, I feel like, again, this is more so a message from Spirit. So, please like and share and all that fun stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye.